Wanda Global Nations Cup 2024. Brazil, Japan, Germany, Iran, Poland, Montenegro, Sweden, Lithuania, USA, Ukraine, South Korea, Egypt, Finland, Denmark, Greece, Italy, Spain, 17 nations, three days, one winner. So, welcome to the Wanda Nation, Global Nations Cup 2024 in Berlin. Now our first game will be Denmark against Ukraine. So, who will start for Denmark? It will be with the number seven. Freeze. Silas, freeze. With number eight, Matthias Jensen. And with number one, Sigurd Lund. And for the Ukraine, we have number one, Vasil Olinik, number seven, Oleksandr Toporkov, and number four, Yevgeny Tsianenko. So actually, we are on mood. We have no connection to you. Okay. So it will be start at 8 a.m. So the players are on the field. The referees are there. So we can start. On, our, on my left, we have Kevin. So hello, Kevin. Are you excited like me to start the Global Nations Cup? 2024. Yeah, a very warm welcome. Good morning also from me. It is uh, always a pleasure because this tournament has developed to one of the biggest in the world besides a world championship and Paralympic Games. You, you don't have many bigger tournaments and especially at the men's tournament. What a lineup we have this year and already with Ukraine the former European champion already here in the first game. So um, who, who wouldn't enjoy that? Yeah, so now we are waiting for the referees. Um, we can look who we have there for the first match in, in Group B. So we have seven, seven teams each group. So, um, 
we have in our group we can show you and tell you who's first but that's a problem here well <coughs> two groups of seven you said it already yes and group b should be ukraine lithuania usa south korea finland denmark and egypt well that's our group for the few first time here and in, in we have two different ga game venues yeah and so um yeah we are now in in group b and in hall b so 13 matches in each venue you can also watch uh of course the other hall stream a you can switch whenever you want but if you stay here you will get denmark against ukraine just in a few moments here so now we have the referees motas and tot in the first game we are now go a little bit down with our voices so the player can can start here everyone takes his eye shades and that was a gong so now we are we are taking our voice down Denmark is lying on the ground and Ukraine are standing in the middle of their goal. So now who gets the ball? It looks like that Ukraine has the first ball. So now the referees on the goal sides just standing and now So Ukraine gets the first ball and the first 12 minutes are now on. Now Vasil Olinik takes the ball, he's standing in the middle, takes a turn and the snap was blocked by Matthias Jensen in the middle. Now he gives the ball to the right side to his mate Kaspar Griegersen and the ball was blocked out so Ukraine gets the ball back. It was the number seven, so Kaspar Griegersen from Denmark. Now the ball is back by Ukraine. So as he's standing in the middle, the number one, Vasil Olinik again with a blocked shot. The ball was blocked by Jensen. Now he gives the ball to this the number one, Sigurd Lund. And now from the right side, Ukraine. The number four, Yevgeny Chihanenko, also blocked by Denmark. And again, Gregersen with a long shot to the right corner, but it goes out without a block from Ukraine. So Ukraine gets the ball back at the left side. Again, number four, Yevgeny Chihanenko. He's going to the middle. Just turns around and then the ball hits over the goal so good block by Denmark and Denmark gets the ball back on the left side number one Sigurd Lund now official, official timeout was called by the referee so now he has to talk with the goal referee so now the play starts again now from the left corner number one shoots to the right corner from Ukraine both blocked out so number one Vasil Ulinik gets the ball back now from the right corner from Ukraine 
She turns and good block by Jensen in the middle. And again, number seven, Kaspar Gregersen gets the ball, turns and blocked shot by number seven from Ukraine, Oleksandr Topolkov. Now number four, again, Yefini Tsianenko, good block in front from Denmark. And now from the middle, number one, Sigurd Lund, ball was blocked out. Well, both teams trying to find their rhythm. Ukraine so far with the biggest chance, in my opinion. Yes, so number one from Ukraine turns and get the ball to the Denmark side, but Jensen always blocked in the middle. And first shot from Jensen. And now the ball is back by Vasil Olinik, number one from the middle shot. Blocked, but the ball is in the hand by Kaspar Gregersen. And now the turn. There was a little Ah, little block by at the feet from Yevgeny Tsianenko and a high bouncing ball, but no problem for Jensen to block at the middle. And again, number one from Denmark. Blocked by Vasil Olinik and again blocked by the Denmark. So now, number seven from Denmark, Kaspar Griegersen. High blocked ball by Ukraine. From the middle, from Topokov, the ball was shot out. Well, always difficult when the ball is s for, for such a long time up in the air, but really good uh, organization by Ukraine. So Sigurd Lund now from the right side, stolen away and blocked by the feet. It went out, not, well not that good. Not that to the goal. So now again number four. Sianenko from the left corner. Shoots to the right corner of Denmark. So ball was blocked out. Now he's back in the game. Diagonal shot, but also blocked by Ukraine. So the first three minutes are here, are over in Half one mm -hmm. at the Global Nations Cup. No goals so far. So again, number one, Lund from the middle post, but oh. the ball is going out on the right side. And again, number four from Ukraine, Zianenko goes to the middle, shoots to the right corner, and it was a little bit luck from there from Denmark. Gets his hands on the ball. A little bit of struggle there. The right arm gets to the ball before the goal line. So again, now Ukraine from the right side. Number one, Vasil Olinik. Blocked shot by Jensen. Oh, a lot, no lot noises there from Denmark. Blocked out by Ukraine on the right side, on the Ukraine right side. Now again number four, Tsianenko from the right corner, just through it directly to the front and <laughs> Jensen jumps out of the ball but the ball gets in out in the neutral zone so now Ukraine has again the chance to shoot a goal here. Now number one, Vasil Olinik middle right side shoots but Jensen gets a block in the middle gives the ball uh, to Gregersen and he finds no gap between two players there so now again number four from Ukraine from the left corner shoots blocked by Gregersen the ball is now out It's a long, long ball, ball yeah. so the ball didn't um, touch the ground before the second six-meter line penalty. Ukraine, one player only in the field for Denmark. The biggest chance of the game so far to score the first goal. It's number one, Jensen, against number one from Ukraine, Vasil Olenik. He 
Kafka shoots from the right side and he's just gets the first goal for Ukraine there. It was a little bit luck because Jensen gets a good good position, but then um yeah. With no long arms he didn't get the ball. So now one one more. Oh, there's a so. clarification there's something I think the ball wasn't given yeah you Correctly. always have, have the yes. ball you always had to have to get it in from 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 the side and that yeah. wasn't the case here yeah you're absolutely right Kevin now Kriegersen again goes to the middle and turns around long ball but no no long ball called now it goes back to the Ukraine from the left corner. It's number four, Zianenko. Turns, shoots to the right corner of Denmark. Quick response there from Jensen. Uh, again, sorry, for from Lund. And now again, Olinik from the left side, blocked by Jensen in the middle. Now. Again, Lund with a shoot, but blocked out on the right side. So well, just a, a noise started from from somewhere outside. Really, it's a helicopter. So only Nick from the right side. Ball was blocked out on the left. So again. We start from the right post. Kriegersen turns around, blocked in the middle from number seven from Alexander Tupokov. Official so now they out. take the time out yes. because of that helicopter, something? Or the, I, I'm not sure what it is. You really First, I thought it was a helicopter, but now it also could be some. Some something, s s someone working outside. I'm not yeah. sure. To well, make the green or something like that. Well, it w it would be. A r well, it's y you don't have any other noises. I, I think the players, some of them, maybe played f in front of a big crowd, especially Ukraine 2019. They played in front of in Rostock, one or two thousand people in the final. But this is something else. You 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 have. It's it's deep. You feel it under your feet. So a difficult situation for both teams, in my opinion. But now again, Ukraine shoots from the right post, and it's another goal. Yeah, that is the class of a European champion. The focus completely there, and Denmark maybe lost a bit of it during that um, official timeout, and now it's two zero. And again, it was Vasil Olini from the right side to the right corner. Just one directly shoot and no chance for Lund to get the ball before I cross the goal line. Now again the block by Denmark. It was again the middle fielder Jensen. High ball. And a high and ball. Denmark. So again. The first penalty. was a long ball. The, this, is, this was a high ball, so not um, hit the ground before the first six meter line. Penalty Ukraine. So number four now. Zianenko gets the ball. From the left, he shoots diagonal, but blocked by Jensen in the middle. He Good sign for Denmark to have that moment of success after the game slipped a bit away from them. So Jensen just at the front of his six-meter line gets the block. Oh, Denmark wants to go have a timeout, but it was not given. So Gregersen again blocked by Denmark number four. Quick response. Blocked by Jensen again. Important. So safe, yeah. it's now now it's now. time out for Denmark. Um, I think Ukraine. <coughs> they have been sorry. They have been the favorite before, bef before the game started. Of course, as the European champion, clear favorite. But Denmark really working good in the defense. Uh, really good sorted. But then the first mistake with that long ball Ukraine ice cold with 1-0 and then also with that well a, a bit faster with in their head uh, after that officials timeout with a 
brilliant ball to score the second goal. The question will be, what can Denmark put um, put on their performance? Because with the offense, I'm not sure they have much more to give. And I'm well, 24 minutes. It's a it's a long time. I'm not sure if they can hold up the intensity in the defense. So now we have five minutes and 44 seconds left. Blocked ball from Ukraine on the right side. So now number one, Vasil Olinik gets to the left side. Blocked ball by, by Denmark. And now Greg is in again with the snap and it's in. Well, an interesting ball. I think it, it, it also jumped in, in the right moment, right. So it, was, it was difficult to, to grab for the Ukrainian defense. Yeah, right before the, the legs of Ulinik, it jumps over. And now, one, two, two. Blocked ball by Grigerson. Now they had the time, get the ball right. So now again, Grigerson, who scores the goals again. Oh, forces the right corner, but it was blocked out by number four, Yefjeni. Tsianenko. Really good situations for Denmark now. And now from the left side, Tsianenko. Blocked by Lund. And Jensen gets the ball. So they have only 10 seconds to shoot again. Blocked by Ulinik. Ulinik goes to from the middle to the left side. Just turns around. Blocked by Jensen. The ball is rolling on the floor, but he gets it right. To give it to uh, his partner to Lund. Yeah. High bouncing ball, blocked by Tsianenko, and he turns back, blocked by Jensen, blocked out. So now the ball is on my feet. <laughs> so I think two seconds already from the 10 second clock are gone after that block. Blocked in the front, in the middle, from number seven. Um, of Ukraine, Alexander Topokov, who's not attacking. No. He's just only blocking. He, he did the same when I saw him last time, five years ago at the European Championship. So, so high bouncing ball goes out on the neutral zone. So again, uh, Denmark has a chance to score another goal. He five, four minutes and eight seconds left on the clock in the first half here. So now Gregersen goes from the left to the right. Starts his attack, but, but it was blocked by Ukraine. So now again, Fazil Ulinik from the right corner forces the right corner of Denmark, but blocked out by Lund. So now again, oh, it looks like Lund has blocked by his hands. He holds his hands, but now he can. He starts attacking from the outside, but it was blocked out. So now again, number four, Tsianenko, given the ball on the right, takes his steps to the left and then blocked by Jensen. Jensen gives now the ball to Grigerson from the right. Again, turning, blocked by Tsianiki. The ball is rolling on the floor, nearly the middle line, but Topokov gets it right before it. So again. Yeah, that was really close to the 10 seconds. That yes. They had to feel quick. And again, shoot by Denmark, but the ball rolls over, so Denmark... Second time after the timeout that Ukraine can't clear the situation clean enough, so another ball for Denmark. No, so another goal is what... The ball was rolling over the middle field, middle line, so again, another um, attack from Denmark. So it's one, two, left, three minutes from the first half here. So now Olinik from the middle right side, blocked by Jensen in the middle. Jensen gives the ball back to the left to Lund. Lund is turning, high bouncing ball, but blocked in the in the high. But Olinik gets the ball from uh, Tsianenko. I'm sorry. And now Tsianenko with the attack, blocked by Grigerson, and he will shoot from the middle right side to the middle and blocked by Topokov, who gives the ball back to number four, Tsianenko. Now from the left corner, just attacking nearly from the outside, but blocked by Jensen. And now back to Lund, Lund from the middle. 
High bouncing ball to the right corner, but it's going out before. So now again. Number four, Tsianenko gives the ball to Ulinik. Ulinik turns and gets to the right corner. And then turning around, bouncing ball blocked by in the middle from Jensen. Jensen gives the ball to Gregersen, now from the right corner. Turning around, ball is good, blocked out by Ukraine from the left. Left wing, so Olenik again gets the ball. And now attacking from the right side from Ukraine. Oh, it's a quick ball, but it blocked out. So Denmark. Second time out already for Denmark. Interesting because I thought they found a good answer, had that goal, and Ukraine really wasn't wasn't in in the rhythm at the moment. It, it didn't feel like um, there was much much danger. Ukraine had not many offensive ideas, so I'm not sure if this time out is the right decision because now the Ukrainian coach has the opportunity to talk to maybe re-establish his team to, to tell them maybe things which could turn the game again. At the moment you feel Denmark is nearer to equal the game than Ukraine to score a third goal. But of course they are the European champion. They can always find an answer. They have shown it time and time again. Interesting to see because you have four timeouts and not many take already two in the first half. So, Gregerson was the next attack. Oh, and nearly found the gap between two players, but Olenik and Zianego gets his feet on the ball. Now with the attack from the left side, blocked by Jensen, blocked out, but he gets the ball um, and give it to Lund, who forcing the corner and it slipped under the body of Olenik. So, like you talk, Kevin, 2-2 two, two here, Denmark against Ukraine. One minute, 30 seconds left on the clock. Ukraine now from the right side, Ulinik wants to shoot back from the right side. He's turning, forcing the right corner, but or the left corner, but, but Gregerson blocked out. So now they're attacking from the right, attacking side from Denmark. Gregerson goes a little bit to the middle and now Shoots to the left corner, but Olenik now... Of course he tries it again, because there he had the success uh, uh, a few seconds ago. So now Olenik gets the ball, but now from the left, Tsianenko with the attack to the right corner, but good block by Jens in the middle with his feet blocked out. So again. Now we go to Lund from the left corner, left attacking side, just turning around, forcing the right, the left corner, but Ulinik now gets his body before the bar crosses the goal line. And again, Ulinik now goes to the left, middle left, and then turning around, forcing the middle, but Jensen is good out, blocked the ball out, is good, good in shape, Jensen. Many get many blocks in the middle. So now Gregersen from the right attacking side. Well, another well machine or something from, from outside. This is, of course, you can't plan that, but. Now it gets back, but it's again an official timeout. And if you ha get an official timeout, you also get fresh 10 seconds. Oh, okay. So now Denmark has a ball. Um, the ball is in the hand from Gregersen. And um, yeah, the official talks with the tr with the both head coaches. Um, well, you something. have to you have to ask them uh, if, if it's b because you all these noises will come and go, so you have to deal with it. So now Gregerson goes to the right corner. There, 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 he wants to attack to the middle to two Tobokov, who gives the ball back to Zianinko. Now he's going to the left. 
Turning, forces the middle, and there was a gap between two players, between Jensen and Lund. The ball gets where he wants. Did it. 3 2 Ukraine. Yeah, and again, Lund now from the left side. Was a high bouncing ball, but it was always correct. So it was the last seconds here on the clock. 20 seconds. Blocked by, by, by Jensen. Jensen is rolling with the ball over the line. Oh, it was good block by Jensen, but then the ball is rolling over the middle line um, with him. So, um, yeah, Ukraine gets the ball back. And the last 15 seconds here. Sianenko from the right corner. And another gap! 2-4, two, 4-2 four, four, two, for Ukraine. Sienenko with a good shoot. And it seems like the timeout by Denmark, like you said, Kevin, was not that good. So well Ukraine first it was, but uh, now Ukraine found two gaps just in between two or three throws. And, and yes. well, that shows the class of that team. So again, now Ulenik from the right corner, blocked by high blocked ball by... Jensen and the ball is over the middle line, so again attack by Ukraine, but we have no time left. Official timeout, the time is over. So um, that was the first half, in yeah, my, in but my uh, opinion. Uh, yeah. But the official now is talking to to the officials sitting on the side. So it's only. One second left, so nearly one attack. Well, you can't attack in that time. So Olenik gets the ball, but uh, don't want to attack. Now yes. everyone gets his eye shades off. And um, yeah, we have a half time here. So, Kevin, what do you think? Interesting, interesting game. Um, I thought it could be clearer towards Ukraine. But Denmark really working good, really working together as a team. Everyone knows his role, really good sorted in the defense. And But yeah, Ukraine, they find solutions. They always do. And so it is the case here. The first goal was a penalty. Then they scored the second one. And then you really thought it would go one way track to Ukraine. But then Denmark scored their first goal and then after that second time out, they also scored a second one. But Ukraine, just in that last minute before half time, they found again something, get, got really two, two good, brilliant throws. And now they are two goals up again, have everything under control. And still my question is, how long will the stamina from Denmark be there? To, because it's, it's hard to play against that kind of offense and Ukraine you feel they are not really at 100% at the moment but Denmark also um, well they, they, they it's a good performance from them you also have to put it into uh, that circumstances but deserved 4-2 lead for Ukraine at the moment next up will be we, we just see the European champion here in our hall um, in the next game, we will have the silver silver medal winner of the last European Championship. It will be Lithuania, and they will play South Korea. This will be our next game. Actually, in Hall A, we have Germany with their first game, game against Sweden. Yes, and just to say it, that you heard it once, the games with German teams, so that means German men, German women and Berlin will be with German commentary and all the other matches we will do in English. This will be the case over the next three days. We have 64 matches in total here at this Nations Cup in Berlin and as far as I am informed, this is the first time that Ukraine plays here at this prestigious tournament. So now we are changing the sides. Now Ukraine is on our left side and um, Denmark on our right. The officials now, the both referees, 
taking care of the ice shades, so everything is correctly here. So now we have one change there by Ukraine. So now um, is it, it will be Anton Strelchik with number two on the left attacking side and right defending side by the Ukraine. Vikt Vasil Ulinik is is on the field too. So now um Jefini Tsianenko is um going down to the bench. And by Denmark it looks like the same three players are going to take the second half. Where we have the USA just warming up in the behind the goal line. But they are the behind the goal. Referee just told us. So the substitution. The applause um, was by Denmark for the substitution. Just to know for you. So now Denmark gets the ball, and we are starting the second half by Lund from the left corner. High bouncing ball, but it was blocked out by Olinik, and Olinik now gets the ball back and gives the first shoot to his teammate Strelczyk. He well, wants to shoot, but the ball was out in the neutral zone, so now again Denmark Gregersen goes to the right corner, stolen away, and then shoots with a slingshot diagonal over the field, but blocked out by Olenik, who hits the ball to the goal referee. <laughs> but nothing's happened there. Olenik now from the right side. Turning around, shoot to the left corner, blocked by two, and blocked out. Good block there by Gregersen and um, Jensen. Now Lund from the right side. Bounce was good, but Tupokov in the middle has no problem to get the ball. Now again, Strelchik wants to shoot to the left corner, but there is Gregersen, blocked the ball out, and now Gregersen gets the ball back. Goes more to the middle. And then turning around, shoots, blocked by two, and now Gnau, number two, Strelczyk, Strelczyk gets the ball back, left corner, turns around, forces the right corner, well, it was but L Lund didn't touch the ball, it goes out before, so Lund now to take the shoot, but Ulenik gets the block, and there is a gap! Because Gregersen gets the ball on his feet, uh, but not blocked in front, so blocked over his feet. So next goal from Vasil Olinik. Gregersen now from the right corner, blocked by Strelczyk. Strelczyk now gets the ball, standing in the middle of the goal. Hits, but blocked by two, by Jensen and Gregersen. Also good to see for him that he now has found his rhythm after his first throw was really... Oh, high bouncing ball. Sorry for that, but rocked out by Ukraine. Looks like the ball is from the air going inside the goal, but Ukraine did, did a good blocking there. So now, again, Olinik shoots the ball, blocked by Jensen's breast outside. So... Yeah, it was a really high ball there, um, but it gets not in the field. So now again, Lund from the middle takes the attack to Topokov, who has no problems to get the ball blocked. And now against Strelchik, forces the right corner, but there it was a block by Lund's feet. Lund gives the ball to Gregersen. Gregersen goes to the right corner. Looks like a next change here in the game. Number nine from Denmark. Gustav Koch standing beside his coach. But again, we're going to the Ukraine. There's Olenik in the middle standing. 
shoots, blocked by Lund. Is there a quick response? Yeah, there it is, blocked by Tupokov. No problem. It's got no, not much emotion there, Topokov, and not so much. Um, yeah, he has that. Yeah, he's just lying in the middle and just stay there. It's now quick responses from both teams, but nothing happened here. So nine minutes, 15 seconds left on the clock in second half. Quick response by Strelchik, forces a left corner, but shoot out. But it's always dangerous when Ukraine tries that. Denmark had that uh, fast attack a few throws before. That all went a bit too slow. It took too long. Right, now Lund takes the ball to the left corner. Turns around, forces Ulinik. Ulinik gets the block. And now Ulinik wants to shoot from the left side. Blocked by Jensen in the middle. Gets the ball to Kriegersen, who's standing half right. High shoot, but no penalty there. With a high bouncing ball. So Topokov lying on the ground. Just rolls the ball out um, because the his teammate Strachik didn't get the ball. Who He wants to give him them, but he didn't catch with the arms, so he 10 seconds penalty would be close. So he rocks the ball out of the field. So block now by Topakov. Topakov at the middle and Olenik again with a shoot to the right corner. But good block there from Gregersen. Gets the ball to Lund. Lund now from the right side. Blocked in the middle from Topakov. He gets the ball to the left. Strelchik. Strelchik now turns around. Blocked by Jensen. Who's not attacking that much, right? Yeah, th it's so the same as the Ukrainian side. center. Yeah. Blocked out by Olenik on the left side. So now again. So now Strelchik from the right corner. Forcing the right. And gets the goal. Strelchik with his first goal here in the second half. It was like he wanted the same. He's trying to force the right corner before, but misses two times. And now he gets the gets the ball. The ball was blocked out by Denmark. The attack was from Olenik. The block went over the goal line. So. Now again Denmark with the attack. 2-6 here for the Ukraine. Kriegersen from the right. Ball was blocked. Tupovkov gets the ball. And now a Strelchik from the left corner. Again wants to shoot. Fourthing the right corner. Blocked out by the feet from Lund. And now the ball is back in the game. Substitution. Now number one, Sigurd Lund goes down the field. And the name Gustav Koch said before will be part of the game. Seven minutes, 23 seconds left in the second half by standing 6-2 for Ukraine. So now the official will check the, the eye shades of the player, the new player. Can he be a different? Can he make a difference? Gustav Koch, he, he looks very young. So we will see. Now Griegersen again from the right side, turning, attacking to the left corner, but blocked out by Olenik. Olenik now gets the ball back. Right before him. Then turning around, high bouncing ball, but it goes out on the left without a touch from Denmark. So now Kriegersen gets the ball back and gets the ball to his teammate Gustav Koch, who's going to the left, just turning around, just 
Highball. Highball, yeah. Well, always difficult when you are coming cold from the bench and uh, well for him it ended with high ball and penalty for Ukraine. So now Ulinik gets another chance to force us the goal. And he gets the goal. Koch lying in the middle um, but the ball was so far so quick he can get a touch of the ball, so Olenik with his next goal here in the Wanda Gold Pro Nations Cup. Now Gregerson hits the ball, but blocked out by Topokov, and Ukraine wants to substitute here. Okay, the middle, the center now Topokov. goes down the field, and with number five, we have Rodion Tsihalin. Tsihalin, yeah. Cihalin. Also someone some who have who have been at the European Championship in Rostock 2019 will remember. So he is, I think, someone. It's it's always nice if you can bring quality from the bench, and he is definitely bringing that, as far as as I know, as far as I remember. So Cialin now gets to the left, attacking side, Strelchik to the right, and number one Vasil Olinik goes to the center position. So, and again, another goal from Ukraine. Strelchik from the half right to the right corner. So, 8-2. Yeah, 8-2 there. Really, really quick throw. Denmark wasn't ready. The attack was from Gustav Koch from the left corner. But again, Strelchik now. Forcing the middle, blocked by Jensen in the middle. And now Gregersen from the right side shoots, blocked again by Strelchik, who gets another chance to attack, but gives the ball to number five, Zierli. Now facing to the left side and blocked. Mm. Ten seconds. Penalty. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure. I didn't didn't count in my head, but now, well, they can now yeah. they can they can choose who will defend, and Denmark right. says number five has to defend now for that one throw for Denmark. So Gustav Koch will be the attacker from Denmark. He's standing in the middle, just turning, and shoots the left corner with the post, hits the post, and goes in. A little bit of luck there. Diagonal over the field. No chance for Ukraine to defend this ball. Well, also nice for him after he had that high ball to have that success now. So, a three strategy now from the right side. The ball was directly out when and he fit the first touch on the ground. And it was, uh, I think, no throw so far from Sialin. Yeah, the penalty was from Cialin. And again! 4, 2, 8 for Denmark. So, another shoot from Koch, another shoot to the left corner. And um, no chance there for Strelchik. It was another post hit. And then the ball was rolling over the goal line. So now again Cialin. But blocked by two. By all three was in involved there from Denmark to defend the ball for the goal line. And there was a shoot from Jensen. We didn't see that so much in this game here. And again, now Strelchik from the middle. Bouncing ball, but blocked by Jensen in the middle. He gets the ball to Gregersen. They have not so much time there. Gregersen hits the ball, blocked by Cialin on the left side. So now Cialin gets the ball back. And another attack from him. The third attack. Blocked and no! It's rolling on the Koch. So now 9 4. And Cialin was his first goal there. And again, Koch will be shooting. Now it's going to the right side. Shoot there to the left corner, but blocked by Cialin. Now Cialin is a little bit going to the middle, turning around. Fastball thrown to the left and another timeout from Denmark. 
So the third time yeah. out from Denmark here. Yeah, well, much, well, much things happened. I think it was 4-2 in the first half, and now we have have it 9-4. So we we already have more goals in the second half than in the first one. And uh, well, Denmark. Um, they sometimes they show some glimpses when, well, the the new substituted player Koch also had had two two really good moments. But always uh, Ukraine has an answer. You, the game does not really turn. Denmark they they um, they give them work, but Ukraine always are stable enough to keep control of the game and of course when they have now a five goal lead you don't see it slip five minutes nine seconds left Denmark with the attack blocked by Ukraine and now again Sianin with the shoot to the middle blocked by the feet of Jensen who gets the ball back to his colleague Koch He's turning forcing the left corner but blocked there again from Sianin now forcing from the left. Wow, good, good fast ball, but it was blocked over the post line there from Denmark. Good blocking there. And now again Denmark has the chance to score another goal here. Now number seven, Tegersen. Forcing the left corner, but the ball was out. At the neutral zone. So Juan gets back, Stretching now goes from the left to the right. Good ball blocked by Koch, gets back to the goal line, to the left side, forcing the left corner, good blocking there by the feet from Stretching. This was a near, near to the goal. So now for me, the player of the game, Vasil Olinik, goes down the field. And with number three, we got Fedir Sidorenko um, coming to the field. So the first three persons started by Ukraine now sitting on the bench. And three new players on the field with Strelchik, Sidorenko and Siali. That by Denmark is only one player left who plays didn't play in this game. Standing nine to four. And stretching now from the middle right. Throwing to the middle, blocked by Jensen. Gives the ball to Kriegersen. Going to the right. Sides. Slingshot diagonal over the field. The ball is rolling, 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 but it's not out. Now the ball is out. We get the ball here on our feet, so now... Well, the player thought that he did not have a chance to, to grab it and get it back in time because the 10 seconds were running. But it's... It, sh it, should, it, it should be Denmark with the ball, not um, Ukraine, yeah. because Ukraine um, gives the ball... Um, puts the ball out, so mm -hmm. it should be Denmark. So he said official mistake. The ball is rolling down to Denmark and Denmark will be get the another attack from Robert Koch on the right side. Shoot blocked by Strelchik. Strelchik gets the ball back from number three, Sidorenko, who's laying an artist center. Good high blocking ball there, but good job from both from Koch and Jensen there. Again Koch from the left side. Forcing the attack, but blocked by Sidorenko. Sidorenko gets the ball back to Zierlin. Zierlin now from the left side. Good ball with uh, much energy. And now Gregerson gets the ball back. Blocked in the front, in the middle, by the new one, Sidorenko. Uh, now Sidorenko wants to shoot one time. Good, good balls. Bounce there, but... Denmark gets the ball back and now they have the chance to attack again. Robert Koch now from the right side, forcing the right corner. But the first time out now from 
Ukraine. Yes. Well, <laughs> they. I, th I don't think they really need it, but uh, maybe something to sort. You said it. They have. They have uh, three new pe players, uh, and, and maybe the coach wants to see something, some some uh, um, tactical things, some some specific plays. But I think they have everything they want. Five goal lead, everything under control. Of course, the main target for this team this year, of course, the Paralympic Games in August in. Paris, but well, they don't look bad at the moment, and of course, this is I think this tournament is just the start of preparation for Ukraine. So, Sierlin now gets the ball in the middle, wants to shoot there, fourth in the right corner, but Koch gets the block. Three minutes left on our clock, play clock for the second half. Now, Koch from the right blocks in the front by Zidorenko, who gets the ball back. Gives it to his teammate Strelcik. Strelcik now from the right. Blocked by Jensen. Good block by Jensen there. And substitution Denmark. Now the center Jensen, who has made a good good game, um, gets out, taking place on the bench. And now the player with number three on the Denmark list. We. Okay, we have only on our list someone with number two. Maybe it's number three. It's Silas Fries. Um, didn't know that exa exactly right now. So on our list, we didn't have number three. Sorry for you that. can say Fries or you can say number three. It's your decision. Yeah, we will see. So now he's in the game. Gregersen has the ball. And two minutes, 40 seconds left. Krieg is now from the right side. Blocked by Sidorenko. Sidorenko gives the ball to Sierli. Now again from the left corner. Was throwing. Blocked by Koch, who is now the center of Denmark. And number three, Fries, goes with the first shot from the left. Lost Not blocked. A bit too much energy after the first two bounces. And now Strachik again. Good. Defend there from number three um, with his legs. The ball was between both legs. So there was another attack from Kriegersen, but blocked by Ukraine. And again, Strelchik with the attack from the middle. Going to the right corner, and there's a new one. There is Silas Fries and Jans over the ball. So you always test the new one, of course. No chance there for. Denmark, so now it stands 10 to 4 for Ukraine. Again, Sialin wants to shoot to the left corner, but Gregersen blocked. Gregersen now wants to attack from the middle right. Slingshot turns around. High, well, not a high ball, but <coughs> from the block from Zidorenko, the ball went up high. And now Strelchik again with the attack. Koch gets the ball. Gets the block. And then, yeah, again, we saw Fries, um, freeze. Or freeze, and the ball lost too much energy, lacked both contacts. Now again, Koch defend, but now he wants to attack from the right corner. Go and then oh, a goal! A bit of, uh, well, lost tension in the Ukrainian defense, and the ball jumped over. Yeah, Zidorenko gets the ball on his feet and then to the goal line. Now Strelchik with the shot, but it went out. Yeah, another goal for Denmark. It's uh, yeah, 52 seconds left on the clock. So 10-5 there. And again, number three. Fries wants to shoot from the left corner. That's another chance. What a better, yeah, was a really little bit better there. Um, so now, but a good block there from Denmark. Strelchik again from the right side. Oh, good blocking there from Koch. There was a little gap, but he's slipping on the ground to defend there by his feet. 
Now Grigerson goes to the right corner, turns around, forces the left corner from his side, but Strachik blocked out with his feet. So again, we have no much time on the clock, 25 seconds. Sialin now from the right side, wants to shoot again here, but Koch did a, get a good block there. And again, now Koch has so much energy, yeah, the referee, the coach from Ukraine saw a penalty there, but it didn't get it from the referees. So another chance there for the Ukraine team, blocked by Denmark. And, and it's the game's done. over. Yeah. Well, a deserved 10-5 victory for Ukraine. The first half was quite interesting to see because Denmark really uh, forced Ukraine into, well, one or two mistakes. They had a really good focus in the defense. It was 4-2 for Ukraine. But then, well, they, they, they got a bit, a bit more um, intensity in and um, forced their way through the, the the gap went a bit a bit bigger during during the game well Ukraine they are European champion they have shown how consistent they are in their offense and so they deserve that first win but also respect to Denmark because they always they, they, they never collapsed in the defense it was never like okay there's there are now many gaps or something like that they deserved that win, but Denmark really did a good job and um, interesting to see what will come next from them. So we will have a quick break and then we will be back. I don't think we have time for, any, for an interview. We will try that right. uh, in the next matches when we have more time, but actually we are not in time anymore. So just a quick break and then we will be back with Korea against Lithuania. <laughs>